crazy roster changes. Oh my God, who's trading for who? Who needs to make a change? Probably not gonna happen, guys. Now there's a new game on the horizon, Infinite Warfare. Brand new game coming out. Everybody's excited for it. Everybody wants to be the best team. Everybody's going to be grinding. Everybody's going to be streaming. Everybody's going to be uploading videos. It's going to be a good time all around for Call of Duty. It's going to be an awesome time. I can't freaking wait. And with the new game comes new opportunities and new ideas. And, you know, a lot of people like to have a fresh start when the new game comes out. I have a new team and stuff like that. However, there's a lot of obstacles and I don't think it's going to happen. And it won't be a big roster mini because of contract issues. Um, you know, the risk of making a team change so early in a game and, you know, just the overall aspect of having team chemistry. I don't think there's going to be a lot of roster changes, at least. That's just my hunch because um, there's only one event left, which is Orlando. And obviously people are going to be going with their teams that they have now because they're not going to make a roster change, you know, for the last event being that champs is over and stuff. And I don't think a lot of people are going to change going into, you know, the new game because... All right, put it this way. So say you didn't perform that good, you know, in this game with your team, and a new game's coming out. You never know who's going to be the best player. You never know who's going to be the best team. And by the off chance, like, that that player, you know, you drop and they go become, like, the best player, it might not always be the best idea to, you know, release somebody. It's happened countless times in the past. Um, unless there's, like, a deep, like, interpersonal problem within teammates and stuff like that, um, there uh, might be team changes and stuff like that. Um, as for our team, people have been asking me, honestly, I don't think we're going to make a change. I don't know. Um, I think we're in a good place, so we'll probably play, you know, the next game and see how it goes and stuff like that. So um, I think a lot of people will go into the new game with their roster, you know, play the first event or so, and uh, it'll go from there. Um, and if it's anything like how this game went, the first couple events, uh, the team that you have, you get like roster locked on it. So as for roster mania, I don't think we'll see another major roster mania for a while. But like I said, I could be totally wrong about all this. This is just the hunch that I have and um, all that stuff. So yeah, for as for roster changes, I doubt a lot of teams will make changes. I know people, well, the community thinks FaZe needs to make a change. People hinted at Optic making a change. I saw that Scump said that Optic is making no changes. And then also as for the FaZe thing, a lot of people think they should make a change. But, you know, it's like, what team are they going to make? They have a good group of four players um i know that they might not get along or something like that um from what i can tell from outside again i'm friends with all of them they get along um it's just a matter of the play styles and putting the pieces together and making them operate correctly and um sorry for that noise if you guys hear that that's my mini fridge going off yeah. for you know getting uh the team to work correctly and stuff like that it's a new game coming out so you never know who's going to be really really good those players were good at you know ghost and stuff like that you know zumo was really good enable was on his come up clayster was good he won a gold medal you know dylan was really good he was on his come up so you never know how that's going to be um that team is probably going to stick together as well i don't see it had to move it the thing was making all kinds of noise but i don't see the benefit in them making a change and you know you just never know what's going to happen um but uh, i think that uh you'll see the same rosters going and there won't be a crazy roster mania and you're going to see a lot of teams you know going into the first event grinding their asses off and it should be a lot of you know entertaining gameplay but that was just to dispel a lot of the roster mania rumors let you guys know what's going on with us um yeah so no roster changes on the horizon right now next stop is orlando uh yeah so but anyways yeah this video ended up being a lot shorter easier and simpler to make than i thought it was going to be pretty much just told you guys the same thing like 10 times in a different way there won't be any crazy roster changes as of now um i could be wrong in the future but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe it's your boy Ant, and i'm out peace